Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is my sometimes working GTX 1660 Ti. This is Cyberpunk 2077's new overdrive mode which features a fully ray traced aka path traced rendering option. With the right hardware it looks fantastic and thanks to modern upscaling techniques it will run pretty smoothly too. If you don't have the latest and greatest hardware but you want to experience Cyberpunk 2077 in all its graphically enhanced glory then worry not because what was one of Nvidia's best mid-range graphics cards can still handle it albeit with some um, how do I put this massive sacrifices ignore the part probably about the graphically enhanced glory then anyway let's get into it so let me just show you here the 1660 Ti in a tech power up GPU Z here PCIe 3.0 mode wanted to show you this just to prove that I am using this to run Cyberpunk with ray tracing mode. I'll open the game here um, in one sort of continuous cut so that you can see that ray tracing is in fact an option. It has been for quite a while on GTX cards, although it's not at a hardware level. So you can expect pretty bad performance, but here we are. Let's actually start off with the lowest no, let's start off with, let's go all out. Let's go to high crowd density. Let's actually enable the ray traced overdrive mode. Um, we'll turn FSR down to the ultra performance. I think we can't actually enable DLSS, but we can uh, enable FSR, which is going to really help. We'll set that to ultra performance. Everything here is as standard, apart from motion blur. I'm going to turn that off simply because... I don't really like it all that much. Ray tracing and path tracing is on. So let's jump into the game now. And we'll just press continue and see what happens. I'm going to leave this as sort of one continuous shot so that you can see I'm using the 1660 Ti. Not sure if there's any other videos of GTX cards running the new path tracing update here on YouTube, but there has to be a first time for everything. We'll enable the MSI overlay. Okay, the MSI overlay is not going to enable. I'll actually enable that in a minute. Um, you can see <laughs> we don't need a frame rate counter to, uh, well, to tell you that it's running pretty poorly. But I think we can make this a little bit better. Let's just enable the MSI afterburn overlay, first of all, and then jump back into the game. There we go. 1080p. Uh, about 10 FPS, so not brilliant as you would expect, but what I'm going to do now is leave things at 1080p. It actually, look, you can still sort of get the idea of the path tracing part. It still looks pretty good. I mean, the reflections look fantastic. The lighting is excellent, even on a 1660 Ti. 15 FPS or thereabouts. I'm actually going to turn things down to low right, let's go into the settings we'll turn everything down to its lowest crowd density um, low there we'll keep FSR at ultra performance but we'll turn everything down to its respective lowest you have to be careful with these settings low doesn't actually mean lowest anymore like it used to in the early days of cyberpunk you have to do everything manually almost missed a setting there I think I've got everything now um yeah everything has been turned down so we'll enable ray tracing yet again um apply that enable the path tracing technology preview which it says is best suited to a 4070 ti or 3090 yep we are using some seriously weak hardware here in terms of what we should be using in order to get solid frames from this but the 1660 Ti is still a really solid card if it's not attempting to do ray tracing in various games. Here we are then. Okay, that doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> as long as path tracing is enabled, it's going to be pretty horrific. I think it's actually worse than with the ray tracing overdrive graphical preset, which is really quite surprising. Whoa, apart from here. Things sort of even out here we're getting slightly higher frames almost 20 fps all i can think to do now is um and you're gonna hate me forgive me for this but 720p okay 720p with fsr ultra performance so i mean we're talking probably something ridiculous like 240p um lens flare missed that we'll turn that off 
uh, everything is still at its respective lowest. Ray tracing is on, path tracing is also still on. 30 FPS with path tracing. It's not the overdrive preset that we started with, but we still can see the effects of path tracing here, especially when we look at the car. I mean, the reflections on the uh, just all the panels, it looks really, really good. Um, the low crowd density has, of course, been enabled. This won't really make much of a difference to GPU power because that's quite a CPU intensive option. I have left it on, however, because, oh, sorry, I've left it on low just because I thought we need all the frames we can get here. This is actually pretty surprising. Um, it doesn't look very good. I'm not sure how well you can pick up the fact it looks like mud from the recording and after YouTube compression, but I mean, if we look down at the water, you can still get the general idea at the very least. I'm gonna hop back in the vehicle. Um, we're gonna cruise through some busier parts of town, perhaps where the lighting is a little more intense to see how the frame rate is affected. We are dropping now. Um, our frame rate has literally been cut in half and all I did was move from one area to the other. I literally moved from one street to the other. Um, I did try this on the 6500 XT as well, but I think the four gigs of VRAM is what really sort of affected performance there. We were getting about 35 frames per second and all of a sudden it would drop down to 15. This is actually a lot more consistent. I didn't bother with actual um, exact benchmark figures. I mean, look at these puddles, look, they still look pretty good. Yeah, I didn't bother with the exact benchmark figures because I mean, it is what it is. I'm not expecting a solidly playable experience and you can see that, but even when we look at puddles and things like that, you can get the idea of how the path tracing is working um, from a non-hardware level. I, I don't know what's at play here. I don't know how the GTX cards that support ray tracing actually do it. Is it software based? I'm not too knowledgeable when it comes to the um, sort of technological aspects, but if you look at this reflection here, I'm just gonna get rid of that overlay because this will make a good thumbnail. It's reflecting off the car as well. Look at that. Maybe we need the frame rate counter in actually because then you'll see it's running at 18 FPS. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. The 1660 Ti hasn't died on me yet either, which it usually does by now. I bought this on eBay as a faulty card that was literally described as sometimes working, sometimes not and today it's decided to sometimes work, which is always good. But I mean, yeah, you can still get the general idea. I wouldn't recommend playing anything higher than 720p with the most intense FSR preset. No one's really going to consider this playable, but it is doable, and I always like to try random and silly things on the channel, as you've probably come to expect over the last 10 years. I would still sort of take this with some note of seriousness because I think if you if you just want to jump in and mess around and you have a, a GTX card that's potentially more powerful, say a 1080 or 1080 Ti, well, you could be in for a, a much more solid frame rate, perhaps even at a less aggressive FSR preset. You've seen that it does work with path, path tracing, not the best, but what I actually want to do is just a normal, enable normal ray tracing mode. We'll actually set FSR to balanced instead. Um, we'll change the resolution back to 1080 as well, because if you just want to experience this with regular ray tracing, uh, let's say reflections, shadows, local shadows, and psycho lighting, that wasn't the best example. Let me, <laughs> let me check. Let me change back to ultra performance. Yeah, see, if you just want to experience regular ray tracing, uh, psycho ray tracing with everything enabled, you can do so, and you're going to get at least 40 FPS, even with the 1660 Ti, which I think is quite impressive. Cyberpunk's seen so many updates, but there we go. For the sake of this video, let me just show you the difference again when we enable the new path tracing technology mode at 1080p. It's a mess, but it works, and... 
I'm glad this experiment has sort of paid off. I'm glad the card hasn't died. And I really hope you've enjoyed this video because it was a bit of a last minute thing. I didn't expect this to work. I didn't expect my card to last this long either. But as always, try it for yourselves if you have a, a more powerful older GTX card that supports ray tracing through the drivers. Um, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.